What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the SAB Raw Puma 700. It's a little windy today, so sorry about the wind noise in advance, but we have the Puma 700 back. I have been flying this model a lot off camera, getting it tuned, getting it dialed in, and I'm very, very, very pleased with this helicopter. It's such an awesome helicopter. But today we are doing something different. So we decided I was asked to test a motor. So as you can see on the Puma, there is only one battery in there. We are flying on 6S. So we have a prototype Sunny Sky 4520 1130 kV motor. Such a nice motor. I really like the design. They did a really nice job and it feels really good. I was actually very surprised at how smooth it is. I mean, look at that. I know you guys can't feel it but that is super super smooth no drag on it at all it's 1130 kv we are running the same hobby wing 130 esc so we have full telemetry so we can get some data out of this motor it's a little shorter than the x nova we had in but it is five millimeters bigger motor we had a 40 mil this is a 45 we are running on a single uh, 6s 4000 milliamp what is that a uh, admiral yeah i can't remember we have it on an admiral pack 6s admiral we are running xt90 i just made this quick little adapter up because we are running the s pros connectors so we just made this little adapter up and the helicopter came in at eight pounds it is it feels like a feather literally lives up to its name puma which means feather so awesome awesome setup so far we are going to test stock pulley same everything is the exact same the only thing we did was just throw in this new sunny sky prototype motor i know a lot of you guys caught that i said that on the m2 unboxing so let's throw the canopy on and let's go fly all right we're gonna go ahead and spool up all throttle curves percentages is the same so we are going to see what happens let's test this success motor out The normal mode head speed is too low. So let's do some head speed adjustments real quick. All right, so we went ahead and upped our governor. So we went from, I believe now it's set at 1750 uh, in idle up one and 2000 flat in idle up two. So we have the telemetry screen set on our transmitter so we can see anything. Again, this is all testing on the new Sunny Sky 6S motor. On a 4000 low head speed. Feels really good. Super light, eight pounds and a couple ounces. We'll look at telemetry when we come down. All right, let's turn it into a higher head speed. Two thousand.
go ahead and set it down. So we got a temperature overload of 190 Fahrenheit. So it definitely got hot and we've seen 149 amps peak. So that was definitely a lot of amperage. So we're gonna drop the head speed back down and uh, keep playing. Okay, so we swapped packs. We are now running an HRB 6S6000. Uh, we killed that, it was down to 13% on that flight. We flew for about three minutes. So uh, we flew for about four minutes. So on a small 6S pack, you gotta remember guys, 6S pulls a lot of power. You're up in the KV, you're on a 700 size machine you're gonna pull more amperage. So if you're gonna do a 6S Puma, I would highly recommend the Hobby Wing 150 and something around 1100 kV, and maybe drop pulley size to keep that amperage down. So I backed the head speed back down to 1950 and uh, we threw a fresh pack in it. So let's take it off, try it again. The motor's doing great though. Kick it back down into a lower head speed. Let the temperature drop, so it is getting hot. So highly, honestly, I recommend 12S. And we're out of power. Okay, so as you can see, we are, we are doing 1880 RPM head speed is what that flight was. So I set it to 1950, we got 1880, which is definitely understandable. We were definitely out of power, definitely out of power. BEC temperature got a little too warm for my liking. Amperage again was 149.98 amps. So again, if you guys wanna build the Puma on 6S, it flies super, super light. It's very, very responsive flying. I personally think 12S, the setup that we had in this with the Xnova 40 millimeter motor, 600 kV, 12S 3300 pack, I think it's perfect. Our flight, our amperage is around 120, 126, peaking five and a half minute flight times all day long. 
I think it's the perfect combination for this machine. I think 6S on a 700 size helicopter is just a little much. Now, of course, you can always drop your KV of your motor. This is a test motor of a 1130 KV, but the motor itself did freaking phenomenal. Super, super impressed with that motor. Again, we'll pull the canopy off so you guys can get a look at these new sunny skies. So I really hope they continue to pump out some motors. I might be testing a 12S motor soon. So if we get that one, we'll throw that guy in here. But I mean, the motor, cool. It's warm, but it's not hot, hot. ESC is a little warm, a lot more warmer than I would like. Cables and everything like that feel good. Battery, you know, we hit low voltage cutoff, but again, battery is, is cold. It's not even warm on the battery side. So there you guys go. There's a 6S flight on the Puma 700. But the main reason of this flight was just to test this Sunny Sky motor. And it made good power. I mean, it did good. It flew really well. The motor performed awesome. It's super smooth. So I highly, and I love the design in the top. I think that looks so good. But that motor look, did great. It looks great. It feels great. I've already pulled it apart and checked everything on the inside. So I think this is going to be a good competition motor to, to compete with everybody else. I think they got something going for them there. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you will, give it a like, subscribe, take care, and have a great day.